Hey guys, it's Daniel McClure here. I just wanted to introduce you to a new project from Google. It's the, the Google Plus project. And this is uh, their latest attempt at entering the social media landscape. Um, so they've had a, a few a few things recently, such as Buzz and Wave, but uh, they've not really made huge inroads. Those are both kind of failures as projects, in all honesty. So. Um, this is one of their most promising projects so far from what I've seen. Um, so I just wanted to give you a quick introduction so you can see what it is if you haven't joined yet, um, get an idea of how it works and um, obviously how you can get involved. So this is the, the Google Plus page. You can see up here it's um, plus.google.com. Uh, so you can visit there. Uh, they're kind of playing about with how you can register at the moment. So you can either sign in with your Google account um, which you'll have if you've got a Gmail account or if you have a Google account for something like Analytics or AdWords. Um, if not, then you can register one. Um, they are they are kind of playing around with invitations at the moment. So if if you haven't if you aren't able to sign up straight away, there might be a, an option to request an invite or something like that. So um, yeah, you, you're not guaranteed to get in just yet as it is so new. But if you do want to be one of the first people to test it, then this is. The place that you would go to request an invite or to potentially join up if they've open if they're open at the moment. Um, so this is the the Google Plus project. This is its introduction page. Obviously, it's got um, introduction to circles, Hangouts, and Sparks, which are some of the main f new features for Google Plus. And I'm just going to now switch over to my account where I'm already logged in on the Google Plus homepage. So as you can see here, this is the the logged in page. You can see I've got Daniel McClure, I'm signed in at the top here. Um, I've got my stream and it's actually, it's, it's kind of a, a similar layout perhaps to uh, Facebook if you're used to that. Um, one difference you might have seen there, it's, uh, it's real time. So you get real time streaming of all your friends updates um, that you've added. One of the the biggest differences to the way that it is from Facebook um, is with cir the circles that it uses for management. So um, it pulls in all of your email addresses and then you can literally drag these people in. I've already sorted my groups, but you can drag people into different groups based on how you know them. So for example, uh, Leah Woodward is somebody that I follow her work online. Um, at the moment, she's in my business friends section because I actually chat with her as well on a friendly basis. But if she was someone I just followed online, I could add them to my following group. Um, and it's as simple as that. So you can create these different groups. Um, so when you're sharing content, um, you can share it purely with your followers, you can share it with friends, you can share it with a mixture of them all. Um, so it's just a really nice way um, of sharing content on a targeted basis. It is, simplifies the whole privacy process. So you always know exactly who you're sending things to. So if you see, I've got a few different groups here. Um, and then if I were to go over to my stream and say that I'm currently filming a quick video about Google Plus. Um, so then once you go to adding posts to your stream, um, whether it's a link, a photo, a little statement like that, you can then choose which of these circles that you want to send it to. Um, so there's all the obviously all the circles I've already created here. Um, I can send it to all of my circles. Um, extended circles, so that would be the circles of my friends as well, or I can make it entirely public so that anybody can see. And in this instance, I'm quite happy for everyone to see that I'm currently filming a quick video, so set that to public, and then I just click on share, um, and then that will go out to everyone on my Google profile um, saying that, with my status update saying I'm currently filming a quick video. So it's a great way of obviously sorting out your statuses in Facebook, things like that. When you're you're putting things out there, you're usually putting it out to all your friends unless you have a group or something. Um, but this is a real way to send out like targeted information uh, to your social contacts. Um, one thing that 
I will mention at this stage is obviously it's, it is an early adapter stage, early adopter, sorry. Um, so a lot of the people that I'm finding on Google Plus at the moment seem to be more of my business and tech contacts rather than just the, the average Joe, say. So it, it will be a while, if at all, before it gets any mainstream adoption, but it's still an interesting thing to play around with, um, especially for sharing kind of content with your industry, if perhaps you've got industry friends you chat with and you like to share. Um, this, this seems like an, a nice way to do that. Um, so moving on from circles, you also have, where are we going? There we go, so it's the Hangouts. Um, I can't do this right now, um, but starting Hangouts allows you to add up to 10 people uh, into a kind of chat room where you all share a, a kind of live video conference. So this could be really useful, well, I've not used it in this browser yet, but this could be really useful for uh, if you have regular team meetings online or if you have perhaps a mastermind group that you like to refer to. I can see Google Plus being a great way to connect with these people um, on, a, on a personal basis. It's uh, a great alternative to perhaps things like Skype and such. Um, but it just gives you a central, central dashboard to, to manage all of your connections. Now, the other new thing that it's introduced are Sparks. So as you can see here, I've already got a few things that I've put, um, a few a few subjects, but Sparks are, generally speaking, just topics that you're interested in, general topics. Um, obviously, it's got kind of a few suggestions here of things that you might be interested in, but say if you're interested in something slightly more obscure, so, I don't know, um, origami let's say not a personal favorite of mine but perhaps if you were um, you can just put in origami run a search um, and you can add that as one of your interests and you can see here it just pulls in a feed of things that are happening around the web being shared in relation to origami some of the ones that I've got are my marketing list so it gives me information about marketing um, technology, I can get the latest technology news, um, mobile marketing, you can get even more targeted. Um, it's just uh, another way, it's like a feed reader but for, for topics rather than an individual area. So it really is, more, Google Plus to me seems more of a, a sharing tool um, rather than say the pure social network that uh, Facebook is. Um, so it's a, it's a great way to find contact, share it with your friends. Sorry, go back to the stream. Um, share it with your friends. And then, obviously, it adds Facebook-style commenting, so people can then discuss the, uh, the, the content that you share. So it's like a step up from um, the digital bookmarks, say, of, of Dig and StumbleUpon, because um, it allows for a lot of conversation, and then within that as well you can actually add if you see it's got the little Google plus one button so you can give votes to uh, the content um, which obviously rates it higher will get, bring more prominence to it within your within the Google plus network and although it's not explicitly stated I expect that a lot of the content shared within this um, especially ones with high volumes of plus ones will actually, uh, if not already, uh, then soon be worked into the the Google uh, algorithms for their search engine. So it's a way for Google as well to tap into what people are talking about. So if you are currently a content publisher, this is probably a great place to get your content out, um, to get these additional plus ones. Um, they've been running on the Google search engine for a while, they've given buttons for web developers to start adding them to their websites. I know since this has been released I've straight away added a plus one uh, website to, sorry, a plus one button to my website because um, I can see um, so long as this does gain traction and everybody does start frequenting um, then this plus one is going to have a lot of weight in the in the Google in the future and um, that's my prediction, that's, that's not a guaranteed fact but from from what I'm seeing, from what I'm hearing, that definitely 
Um, it's how I feel anyway. Um, there, there is going to be a lot more weight placed on the plus one. It's like the equivalent of the Facebook like um, button, but obviously more directly tied with Google and their suite of services. So they're the main features um, of Google Plus. Um, there is a mobile application for it. Um, I have logged onto that onto my mobile and it is location aware. So you have to agree to um, allow Google access to your location whenever you're using uh, the, the mobile app. But that shouldn't be uh, uh, too much of a problem if you are getting involved in that side of things. Uh, so that's a basic overview. Obviously you can have photo albums, got photos here from my friends, uh, my current friends. You can have photo albums. Uh, there are bits where you can add videos as well. Uh, but I think a lot of that is is kind of not really going to be utilized at this, this early stage, perhaps more at a later date um, when more and more people are getting involved. Uh, or if you wanted to create, say, a family group once more of the kind of non-industry people are on, then this would be a great way of sharing photos with a select group of people. Um, but for the moment, I think that that's that's something that will develop a bit later, perhaps. Um, for the moment, it really is about this content stream, uh, getting content out there, getting some discussion around things. So, uh, yeah, it, it really is just kind of an interesting thing, one definitely to keep an eye on. Um, it will rely on people signing up to it. It will allow it gaining some traction within the social media landscape, but I, I see this becoming a feature for for quite a, quite a while in the future. And you can see here at the top, it's got this kind of Google Google dashboard bar, Google admin bar, um, and any notifications that I have will come up in here. So this is all people that have added me, um, commented on my posts and such. Um, but what's interesting is if you have a, a Gmail account, um, as I do over here, um, you'll notice that this bar actually appears within the top of your Gmail account as well. Um, so whenever you log into your email, as well as getting so your email notifications, you're also going to be getting your, uh, your Google Plus notifications. So that is going to encourage a lot of people to keep checking back as they see more and more interaction with that when you go to check your email and then people are going to be noticing this and then clicking through over to the notifications. One thing that uh, I haven't mentioned yet which is probably worth mentioning as well is that within the stream um, you'll also notice that every as well as the plus one button and the, the comment every every post has a share button um, if that's been enabled and what that allows you to do is the, the Google Plus equivalent of say a retweet. So you can take you can take the post, the whole post, all the comments around it, and then you can choose to share that with a group of friends. Um, perhaps adding comment. So I am really enjoying Google Plus. And then I can then choose to share that with a certain group of people. I've got it public at the moment, I can X out of that. Say if I just wanted to share that with my uh, closest friends. So I select that with my friends, uh, I can share that post, and it's a way of doing, ooh, okay, got it. Um, it's a way of sharing um, a kind of a retweet style thing with a certain group of people. So rather with with Twitter, you'd retweet, it goes out to all your followers. Um, one of the advantages of Google Plus is you can then say, hey, I like this piece of content, but actually only my friends are going to be interested. Actually, only a certain group of business people are going to be interested. So you can then select that group and share it with them. So that's that's a really, really powerful feature for um, Google Plus. So it's just been a, a quick basic overview. Obviously, everybody's still getting used to how it works now. Uh, there's a long, long way for it to, to come before it becomes a mainstream uh, viable platform. But definitely it's worth taking a look around, getting used to. And if nothing else, the plus, the relevance of the plus one is clear. It's, it's Google is banking on this. So if you do run your own website, 
I think if you haven't already, now is definitely the time to get the plus one integrated to your website. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, then I'd like to hear them. Feel free to add them below the video and I shall speak to you soon.